Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Planet Base, and yes, I know I did say that it was going to be my last episode last time, however, I changed my mind. And the reason I've changed my mind is because we've got the new game coming out, uh, Mars Survival or Survive Mars, whichever way round it is. That is coming out very soon, but it's not out yet, and I was hoping that I would be able to play that game ready for um, releasing an episode for tonight in place of the one that I'm doing right now. Instead, instead of this, I was hoping I'd be able to do a different episode, um, which, you know, an episode of Survive Mars. Um, and it would be a little bit late released, but I thought that would actually be really cool. Unfortunately, it's not going to be released until 6, which means that by the time, 6 o'clock my time, GMT, um, so by the time I get that loaded, you know, any bugs sorted out and I get recorded, it's going to be too late. So I figured I'll do one more of Planet Base. I don't really want to end Planet Base on complete and total failure like we had last time. So I am going to work on this a little bit today. We're going to, I've gone back just to the save previous to what we had last time. And I'm hoping that we'll be able to rescue it from that point. That's my plan. I'm going to put in a couple of those, and we'll take some vitro meat uh, just to make up. There we go, 60. Right, trade. So I've got some spare food, and I'm going to go on here, and we'll go to there. We've got 21 colonists at the moment. I'm going to allow colonists. I'm going to... We've got 40% workers at the moment. I'm going to increase the percentage. I want to decrease that, and then I want to increase the percentage of engineers. Why does it do that? Why does it do it like that? It's very weird the way that it does this. Okay, uh, medics at 5%, guards are currently at 0%. So if I do that and I do that, 5% on the medics and the guards, 20% engineers, 35% biologists, and 35% workers. I'm hoping that will improve things a little bit. Now, I removed this stuff out of here, um, or that one biopad. Remember, we had this issue here. Now, I've got workers are not feeling particularly great. We know that. Um, but I've also got, um, over here, we've got power storage issues. They're not storing enough power at the moment. I've got water issues as well. That one is pending. So we're going to get this lot built. And then once that's done, I'd also like to make a massive, great big biodome. I've got some biodomes at the moment. Um, but I think that we want more. And possibly we want a bigger canteen as well. But what I'm thinking is that if I could remove that biodome there... I could, yeah, see, this is the problem. Once I start removing structures, it's difficult to put them back again. It's difficult to put other ones back again. So we're just going to have to go a little bit steady with this. Now, that is water. That one over there is a big water tank that is being built. But what I want is another large power collector. I, I would really like one of those out here. I think it is going to be rather um, useful to us. So if I go all the way over here to a really large one, like that, and that is as far over this way as I can build it. Plonk that one down there, and I'll do a connector in there. And I'm also going to do a connector from there into that one as well. So that we've got a couple of, just a redundant line on there. Well, at least one redundant line. I feel it would be useful. You are waiting on one. You are done. Um, there's nothing else I'm prioritizing at the moment. I've got a large supply of food. And I've also got to load more food out there. So I've got plenty of food able to come in. We're just waiting on more. So I can afford to now start building the big biodome that I would actually like out here. Um, the only issue is I've got that bit of plastic down there. Which is stopping me from being able to move forward a bit. So I think we need to... How Am I able to like select that one to be moved? If I re recycle, delete. I don't really want to recycle and delete it. I want them to come and get it. But I don't think they do. Nobody's here to come and collect this one. Um, let me speed up the game a minute. We go to four times on the game. And are you going to come and get it? Really? I don't want you to get it right. We've got the mine has been built over here. And we've got that structure over there. So I've got another mine. That's really good. We've got four units over here busy making stuff, uh, making iron, and um, they're also going to start turning that starch into plastic as well. Now, I've been advised that having all fast-growing ones is not necessarily a good thing. I want to perhaps slow that down a bit. Um, so with our large biodome here, we're going to change that slightly. At least that's the plan. So I'll put the big one here. There we go. 
Now I can move that right in tight. So I'll put that one right there. And then I'll be able to hopefully remove these in a little while. So I'll put one out to there. And I'll join that. And I'll put one from there onto this one. And I'll join that as well. We've had no new colonists turn up yet. But I'd actually like that water tower to be done as a priority before we get anything else. Uh, what are you? You're, oh, you're a bigger water extractor. And then power is going to be a bit of a problem. Now, that is a long way to go all the way out there. So I'm thinking that we'll want... Um, we're going to want another large wind turbine. And I think we'll move that one out this way. That one over there is large. That one is very large. Yeah, we'll, we'll go for a large wind turbine as well. That's going to be the next big bit that we want. So wind turbine, landing pad, starport. Uh, we won't go for that one yet. Telescope signpost. Let's go for the wind turbine. As big as it can go. And which way do we put this? I'll put that one... If I bring that one over there like that, it's sort of... I can have a redundant line on it if I need to. I'll join those two together like that. Right. Okay, we're making a little bit of progress, I feel. We've got the plastics are coming out. That's fine. That's, that's not going to be a problem. I've got some food. Which, well, I've got more than enough food to keep the colonists ha uh, going at the moment. So that's good. And hopefully, what I'm hoping to do, the, the aim today is not to finish in failure. I don't want to finish in complete and total failure. I would like to have a decent base built right out, and I'd like to finish this game on a high note, and then in tomorrow's last episode, so the, the evening episode tomorrow, I will be doing my first episode of uh, Survive Mars. I'm really looking forward to that game. The more, I'm, Thank you so much to everybody that suggested I play that. The more I've looked at it, the more I've seen of it, the better it looks. It really does look really, truly awesome. And I'm genuinely looking forward to being able to play that. Right, we've got a guard has turned up. I've got two medics at the moment. We've got five engineers, six biologists, and eight workers. That is a good combination. I don't have anything to make um, medical supplies yet. Now, looking on here, there is the guard. He's working on the security console. That is excellent. And we've got nothing in the armory at the moment. But I suspect that we will have eventually, I think. Did I have a gun? You know, I'm not actually sure if I've got a gun or not. Right, now looking up this way, we've got two resources pending up there. We've run out of spares. That is a slight issue, running out of spares on a regular basis, because the, we're using up all the plastic over here. Um, these machines here, they take one iron and one plastic, and they turn it into um, spares. And you are a trader. Right, what have we got? What have I got that I can trade? i got loads of I'm not trading my food. Now that there is a blueprint for a colossal panel, but that's 400. I don't have 400 to spare. Really, I'd like to try and get a bit of 23, 55%, 55% commission. That's insane. Starch is worth five. Um, no. I can't do anything with that. You may leave. We will dismiss you. You, you may go. Hang your head in shame, sir. You are no good to us. Now, let me look over here. I, I, all of these people are absolutely miserable as sin at the moment. Um, let me look on there and see if I... Can I make a vid screen here anywhere? Can I put one up? I don't think I can anywhere in this room. No, I can't. Okay. Scrap that idea. Um, so something I'm going to need soon is I'm going to need to cheer these people up. Because if they're really miserable, like that guy right there, here... Going to get vegetables. Um, low stats. The colonists will form tasks at a reduced speed. See, it's not good. We've got another colonist ship. We've got 23 colonists now. Uh, six biologists. I want the biologist numbers to increase. I keep. I need those to sort of um, really start bumping up. We've got two mines now, which means that we've now got more iron being produced. Which is absolutely fantastic. I got there's one over there that's being made. So we got one more iron there has been done. I've got here another iron is being made that is soon going to be done, um, and that will be the two that we want over there for water. Now once those are done, is these two here that I think we should concentrate on next, and we'll worry about the biodome after that. Once we've got that biodome, I'll then start moving the stuff into there, and then I want to get rid of these two. And I also want to get rid of that. If I get rid of that one, does that mean that med bay is going to be... No, I'm not sure how that works, but the med bay... 
We'll, we'll be able to deal with it. We will deal with it. Don't worry. Fear not, ladies and gentlemen. Fear not. It will be good. Right. Water tank has now been built. That means that is filling up with water. So that should keep us going as far as water is concerned for a little while. So then we've got uh, pending resources there. That one is pending one. That one's pending one. We got four and we got four over there. So we need nine over there. And then these over here require another nine over here. We want 18 resources, which is not great. Colonist ship. How you doing? Six and nine. Five. Two of each of these. Medic and guard. We've run out of medical supplies. We've got the medical plants. We've got the medicinal plants. We just don't have the lab at the moment. But I'm not going to build the lab until we've got the big biodome. The big biodome is key to this now. We've got these small biodomes. But I'm pretty sure we, we really want to concentrate on getting the big biodome. We've got some food reserves. We've got some food here. That one's at 80% full there. That one is at 29% full. We've run out of medical supplies. This yeah, the medical supplies issue is going to be a bit of a problem. But I think we'll be we will be able to get past it. So we could start building the medical dome over here. Um, it's the lab that we need for that one. It grows synthetic meat. Oh, actually, as that's going to be the big one, I kind of actually want to put the medical one right there. If I could put that... Actually, no. If I could drop it in there instead of that one, that would be much, much better. I don't know if it's going to let me do that, but we will try. That is something that we're definitely going to have to try. Now, looking around, is there anything else on here? I could just get rid of these right now. That is more risky. But it means that then I've suddenly got a load of iron available to do all these other jobs. Hmm. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that yet. We'll wait. Because I don't know if I'll be able to drop in a um, thingy in here anyway. It may not let me. It may decide that I'm not able to do that. Right, you are a trader. You've got some medical supplies. So if I buy a medical supply, shall buy two. And I will pay for it using bioplastics. Uh, four, five, and some starch. Like that. Four starch, five plastic, trade. we got two medical supplies. Right, that'll keep them going for a little bit. Those two medical supplies will be enough to um, do anything that we need to do. Now, where's the rest of our iron going? This is the crucial bit now. This is what we're waiting on. All of it is now reliant on the iron. That's at 95%. And that one is at 99 Right, that one's full. Has he got a worker in it? I don't know if he's got a worker in it or not. I think he does. I think there is a worker in there. And it's producing. Let me swing round like this and we can take a look out front. There we go. Out the front right there. We've got one piece of ore on its way in. And that is going to go straight over to these machines over here. I've got another piece of ore being brought in from over that side. And that is going to turn those... Yeah. And that will be processed into um, ore in these machines. Oh, sandstorm imminent. Now, I'm not sure how we go about setting out the, the sandstorm structures. We've got interior, home, guard structures, uh, intruder, camera. And W... No, I don't want that. There is a way that you can stop people from going outside in a storm. But I don't know how to do it. If I go here onto the airlock... Um, like that. Sure they're uh, trading. Um, no, there is, a, there is a way to do it, but I, I don't actually know how to do it. I, did re I remember reading somewhere that there was a way you could set it. Uh, whether it's a telescope radio console. I, no idea. No idea at the moment. I'm not really sure how to do it. Um, right, why have I got thirsty people? Uh... He's not particularly thirsty, and I do have a drinking fountain there, so he should be alright. He'll go over there and he'll drink. I've just got miserable people. No, you need to go and have a drink, dude. You need to go and have a drink. Where's he going? He's going out into the storm. That's just great. Right, let's speed it up. I'm going to get it back up to four times, and I need everything else to be built. We're waiting on 18 pieces of iron. Um, do I go for the next large power collector and prioritize that one first? And then after I've done that one, prioritize this one over here. Would that be the way to do it? I'm actually, I'm not certain. I don't really know which way round I should be doing this at the moment. Um, 
I got plenty of biologists. Hmm. All right, we're going to prioritize the dome. We we'll go for the dome. I've got water. Power is doing okay. I'm actually producing. Am I producing? No, I'm using more power at night time. But during the day, I'm producing more. So these two will catch up. We'll get the dome built first. And then I can hopefully start to do some of my change arounds that I'd like to do as well. Which includes demolishing that one there. And turning it into a lab. And then... Yeah, there's a few other bits and pieces that we want to do as well. I'm just not quite sure how well this is going to work out. And what is our rate of people? Currently have seven biologists, nine workers, five engineers. That is that is good rate. That's a good rate. So we're, we're waiting on some biologists now. That'll bring the numbers up a bit and then they'll start bringing more in. We did have over 40 people in the base at one point. So we've still got a lot of people here. I got food that is being stockpiled. This is really good. Having food stockpiled is going to be quite a... It, it's going to be quite important for us. It's going to make a significant difference to how things pan out for us, I feel. Um, now, I've got that canteen there. I think maybe if I just go for a second canteen... Because I don't, I don't know if that one canteen over there is enough. I'd also like to have the canteen closer to the biodome. And the biodome's got to be all the way over here, which means I don't think that one is... I don't think it is close enough over there. But anyway, trading ship, what do we got? So we got any, Right, if we can get... I should be able to trade some of these for some of these. I'll trade that all the way down. I'll leave... Uh, all right, let's, let's go for another one. There we go. So I'll buy in five and get a couple of coins or one coin. 45% commission. It's ridiculous the amount of commission that these people are charging. Is absolutely, it's, it's criminal. That's what it is. It is criminal. It's disgusting. But, pending resources six on there means that uh, the five, I've got five iron coming in from this guy. And with that one right there that that robot has just gone and put out, that is going to be, so that will be the dome built. And then I can build all of the pads inside it. I'm going to do eight fast production pads. I'm going to do two medical supply pads and I'm going to do six slow production pads all of the no um four of them are going to be just food four of them are going to be fast food and starch and then the other six will be food and starch hopefully that'll be enough with our massive stockpile that we got as well I'll leave that dome there producing as well so we've got that one which is producing uh fast food fast food and starch fast food um Oh, I thought that one was a medical supply pad. Which is the medical supply pad? Uh, one of them was. Oh, I don't have a medical supply pad yet. Alright, I will change one of those for a medical supply pad. Because that one I'm going to delete and I'll put something else in its, in its place. Power storage is low. Right, this one is waiting to be built now. Hint, guard, power storage. Why hint, guard? Why are you hinting me at a guard? Uh, detect intruders before they do much damage. All right, that's great. Is that an intruder there? Is that person an intruder? What is that person doing? I'm trying to look at him. No, I don't think he is an intruder. Um, I've got guards. I think it might have just been that we... No, we didn't get another guard, but uh, I've got some more biologists. And the biodome has now been constructed. There it is. I'm not going to build the stuff in there yet. I need to wait until that one over there is built. Pending resources two for our next large power collector. Hopefully. Yeah, that's filling up. So if the third one is there as well, then it should be all right. We're just waiting on two pieces of iron. That's all. Just two. I've got... Oh, there's spare parts there. And uh, No, I don't have any um, iron. I've got iron being produced in that one. 95%. That one doesn't have any. That one doesn't have any. And that one doesn't have any. But that one there has now finished. He's got iron in there. So there should be a robot come along very shortly and take that. Go off out to that one over there. Which is pending one. I'm going to remove that one. I'm going to recycle that. So that hopefully that robot there will grab it and he'll put it onto there. Funny. That's what he's supposed to do. If you could... Oh, there we go. We got that one. He's going to put that one out. And he's going to go there. And then we've got the building being done. Beautiful. We've got another power collector. 
And just a little bit too late for this evening. There we go. Power's going way down now. That's taking a bit of a hammering. Right. Now, while that is building, I need to carefully consider how we're going to do this. We want... Uh, food and starch is going to be four of them. So we'll do those four there like that. Can't do any more than... I can do 16 pads in here. Um, I would go... Uh, that's fast food. Hydropod... Uh, that's um, fast food and starch. I'll do the same here. I'll go another fast food and starch. So I've got eight fast food and starch. Then I'm going to do two medical supplies. Um, like that. And then I'm going to do standard food and starch. With two onion pads. Well, one onion pad because I, I really hate onions myself. I absolutely can't stand onions. So I'm not going to give them very many onions. We'll have some radish. We'll have some mushrooms like that. There we go. Right. So I've got a selection. I've got... That is... Oh, hang on. No, I wanted, I wanted starch. That's the wrong ones. I don't want just vegetables. I want starch on all of them. Yes, confirm that. And get rid of the onion pad as well. I want all of these to be starch. That was a serious mistake. Shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have done it. Yes. And delete. Yes. Right. Uh, we will go with just steady starch. Like that. And then I'll go two wheat pads over here. That. And two corn pads as well there. So I got lots of... I, I, I want lots of starch being produced. So I got two medical plants as well. I'm going to leave that one for a minute. And I'm also going to... Well, I'd like to turn that one into a canteen. No, I wouldn't. I want to turn that one into a canteen. I'm going to leave that one. So it's this one over here that I'm going to demolish. And I'm going to do that first. I'm going to do that right now. Um, why can't I recycle? Why can't I recycle you? Recycling this would split the base in two. Oh, it's because of that. I can't remove that one. I cannot... Oh, I see. Right. And there's a person over there who I can't do anything with. So I can't turn this dome into something else. Prioritize work. Disable structure. Edit the contents. If I go like this, um, build a lab. Am I allowed to put it over the top? No, I'm not allowed to do that either. Right. Right, well, that's not very useful, to be honest. Um, I wanted to put a, a thing down there. Right, well, if I can't do that, this one here I wanted to turn into a canteen, but I can, I can do that. That is one thing I can do. I've got, uh, yeah, power storage is fine. We've got the wind turbine as well. I'm going to recycle that one. Kaboom. There we go. Right, now, if they could just remove all of that stuff, once they've done that, I will then build a bigger canteen over here, and then I'll shut that canteen down. And then... Yeah, the, the main issue is that I've got that one coming off of it, and that one coming off of it is going to be a bit of a problem. Um, where else could I do it? I, I, there, I don't think there is another way that I can do this. Short of leaving that one running and turning that into the biodome. That might be the way to do this. That might be the way forward. I've got to remove these. I've got to get them to remove these plastics first. We've run out of spares and medical supplies. I've got iron there. Yeah, you're taking that. You're going to be making some spares. And if I go there and I go to a canteen, I can't place it down because of all of those bits that are in the way, which is very inconvenient. I don't think I'll be able... You know, I don't really want a great big one anyway. Um, right, and i got biologists need to come to work on these. Look at all the food that we got in there. There's a storage place over there, and there's one all the way over there. We've run out of spares. They're still not coming out to get this. This is my main issue here at the moment. Uh, how can I do this? I, you, I can delete them, but I don't really want to go and delete them. That just feels so wrong. It really does. That, that feels like an absolutely evil thing to do. Uh, so if I've got a lab, I need to... You know what? We're, gonna, we're just going to have to spread this over a bigger area. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a bigger canteen. I'm going to put that one there like that, and then I'm going to connect that one to the canteen, so we've got a direct line straight through for food, and 
I'm not going to connect anything else for a minute. They're just going to bring that plastic out first. They'll pick that up and they'll put it in place. I think. Yeah, it looks like that's what they're going to do. They're carrying some of it away. He's bringing some. He's bringing it over. Okay, ideal. And if I then go... Now, that one over there. You know, we're just waiting on... Seriously. I really wish you wouldn't. Um, connect. I want them to move that one. I may be able to plonk something down in the middle there. If I can, that would be... Oh, I know what I could do. Uh, factory, processing, bio... I want a storage. If I got storage, it's close by. It's just going to make life a lot easier for me. Uh, I cannot put it in there. Okay. So then I'll go to this one, and I'm going to recycle that one straight away. And I'm going to go back here, and go to the canteen again, and I'm going to put it in there. And I still can't. I can bring it down a little bit, and I can make it smaller. I can put it in there. I think we'll just do that. We'll just we'll just bite the bullet. We'll say, okay, yeah, we'll do it like this. You win. We'll put that one in there. So then I've got a canteen here instead of a biodome, which might make life a little bit easier for us. And I've got a canteen down there as well. So two small canteens would be enough. I know they're spread out a little bit, but I'm hoping that that is going to be okay. I can't delete that. That one's going to stay. I'm going to keep that one where he is. Then... I'm also going to build... I've got a storage facility over there. I want another storage facility close to this one. But I also, off of this one here, I want an airlock. I'm going to put that... No, I don't. Not yet. No, 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 no. We're going to go. And we're going to build this one, the multi-dome. That one I really need. You know, colonists are really miserable. Standing reached. Go to there like that. And put that one in. We've run out of medical supplies. There. I've got another bot there. I've got 104 pieces of spare food. That's actually really good. Um, carrier bot is 80. I'm going to buy that one. It's going to require most of my... Pla well, a lot of plastic. But I'm also going to take some starch to pay for it as well. Like that. And then I'll take a coin. One coin. A single solitary coin. But we do get that one. We do get the um, an extra bot to come along. So we've got that bot there. I've got this multi-dome here, which is going to be very useful. That one... I might prior... If I prioritize that one, then I can get all of these connections built up. And once that's done, I've got the power grid is now reasonably taken care of. A uh, load of storage in that. It's medical supplies that we need. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this one here. But I've got to be able to have another bit of base on here. Once that connection is joined up to it, then I will be able to delete that one. And once they've removed everything out the way, I can put down the medical research bay over there. That will allow me to research the meds that I need for down there. Plus, it will also allow some food to go in there if I do the vitro meat things. Because they're going to be reasonably close to the new canteen. And there's going to be new storage over here as well. We're on 29 people. We have... Um, well over a hundred spare food. I've got ten biologists. That's excellent. Right, that guy's broken down. Oh, that, that guy, that robot has broken down. I'm waiting on one iron for that connection there. Plus, I'm waiting on that connection in there to be done. Right, let's uh, finish you. That is done. We've got a connection there. I still need this connection here to be built. So, we're waiting on one piece of iron. That connection, we look at all the food that we have got stacked up here. This is insane. This is absolutely balmy. And coming out of here, I'm going to do a storage down in this corner. This is where the storage is going to be. So if I go like that and I go to biodome, no, I want to go uh, factory processing sick storage. And this is going to be a big storage here. Absolutely massive one because then we can put more food in. And I want all the connections to come off of that canteen before I um, finish building it all. So that one there is got to be the priority one. I've got uh, the fast-growing things down here. They are a bit of a problem. If I take these, that one's at 80%. That one's at 90. 95. 70. Right, you've now produced food so I can get rid of you, yes. And then you have now produced food so I can get rid of you. And then you will in just a moment, and then I'll get rid of you as well. 
And that's going to free up some space. There we go. Yep. And finally that one there. As soon as that one has produced all its food, I get rid of that one as well. And then we can delete this dome. And when the dome is deleted... Excellent. There we go. Right. And this dome over here, I'm wondering if I should change some of this to med supplies. I've got a rice pad there. I've got pea pad. I've got potatoes. That's a slow one. And wheat is a slow one as well. We keep, no, we'll just keep those as they are. They can stay there for a minute. Ah, oh, good. This is all done. Um, so now that I've got all of these done, I can put in here... Uh, no, 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 no. We don't want to delete that one. What's it? Oh, no! She stayed out there. She got stuck inside that little area there and was never able to escape again. That's terrible. That's absolutely awful. Right, uh, I'm going to put another table down there and then we're going to put a food thing there. You can only put two food things in. And if I put that food thing in there, like that, I can't put a vid screen here anywhere. Oh, I can put one there. Yeah. Just put one up there so that people are happy. I also want a drinking fountain in here. Um, and a potted plant or two. Let's put, let's put a couple of plants in here because it seems to keep people happy if they've got plants to look at. So we'll put a few of them in. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Magnanimous as ever, aren't we? Uh, recycle that one. I'm going to put a second drinking fountain in there so that there's plenty of water over here. And right. That is that one underway. And then if we look over here at our trader, I've got plans for a goliath turbine that is 400 i don't have anything to trade at the moment i got starch i could trade um but i don't think i want to i've got 109 food two vitro meat no no trading at the moment sorry no you can go i'll tell you what let's just dismiss you because then you can go and hopefully we'll get more people coming in right um i'm waiting on a few resources here so we did lose a person which was very, very unfortunate. Look at all the food and stuff we've got here. This is insane. I'll speed this up. That will all... Yeah, people can come out the other way now. So if I take that one there and I, I can recycle this one. Yes. Recycle. They will take all of this and they're, they're going to need to remove it. Hopefully they'll remove it fairly soon. And they'll be bringing... Well, the iron will be moved very quickly up to here. The rest of it will be a little bit slower. We want a medical supplies place right in there. It's very important that we get that medical supplies place. Um, and then we've got a storage here, a huge storage. And we've got a multi-dome here, which is going to start to improve the quality of life for the people that live here. So i got... Come on, I need you to move these. If you can move these, then we're good to go. I might have to just delete it. Because um, the amount of stuff that we've got... They may not come after this. They may deem this starch not important. Look at the stuff that we got stacked up in here. This is insane. This is absolutely balmy. Um, I got... St it's all... They're completely full of starch, all of them. I just don't have the workers coming in to actually man the plants. Okay, let's, let's see our... Uh, 35 and 35. I got only four engineers. Uh, we need more engineers now. Um... Just wondering if we should increase the number. No, I think the number of workers is okay. We just need some more bots for carrying stuff around. These here, we're just going to have to delete. They're just going to have to go. It's the only way that we're going to do this in any uh, reasonable amount of time. Let's go to the lab right there. Now, can I make that a bigger? Yes, I can make that a bigger lab. And I can drop that in there like that. Brilliant. So then I can go up there to those two. And I can take that onto... I'm going to do it this way to start with. I'll do that connection last. I won't do it yet. Purely so that we've got um, that connection there is done and we don't have any issues with it um, sort of causing problems later on. And I just had another colonist turn up. Who did you have? I think we had another biologist turn up, did we? Or maybe... Oh, no, we had four engineers. Now we've got five. Right. That's good. I'm waiting on the TV there to be built. It's not going to take... Well, actually, no, we, we don't have very much plastic. we got starch coming out of our ears, but we don't have a lot of plastic. It's because we need more carrier bots. So once we got the lab done, we've got the recreation area being built, and i got another huge storage being built. So the next bit after that that I want to build would be the robotics, I would say. I could do another processing plant, but I don't think I need it. Not yet. 
Um, the bar I could do again, but I don't think I need it yet. I've got a sick bay. So yeah, robotics facility. I'll build one of these out here. And that one, right there. By having a robotics facility um, done reasonably quick, well, I say reasonably quick, I want to get more robots carrying stuff because apparently it's one of the things that makes people really miserable is carrying stuff around. So if we can reduce the amount of carrying that they do, that would be absolutely brilliant. Uh, oh, that one's as that one's done, let's start building some stuff inside so that they become very, very happy. Um, right, I want a treadmill, which I can put in there. I want um, some bars. Yeah, we'll put bars in there. And I want a potted plant to keep them company while they're on the treadmill. And then we're going to go to a drinking fountain. You've always got to have drinking fountains. There we go. We'll put a vid screen in here somewhere. That can go up against the wall on that side. A bench or two. Why can't you have the benches facing the other way? That makes no sense to me. Why can't they face the vid screen? I'll do another treadmill over there. And I'll do some more bars there. And then we'll do a, a plant. And I've got a drinking fountain over here. I'll do another drink. You know, drinking fountains never hurt. They never hurt at all, do they? So we'll do that. And then we'll do some benches. Do one there and another bench. Oop, nope. Invalid location. I got grunted at by a robot. That was a very robotic grunting sound, wasn't it? So we'll do some more benches over here like that. And I think that is good. I think that is an excellent little setup. We've done everything that we can in there. They'll build that in a minute. And then we, our colonists have got somewhere that they can come. They can chill out. They can relax. And all will be good with the world. I'm waiting. That's going to take a while to build. That's done there. I'm waiting on one item there. Let me prioritize that. So the next piece of iron should come to them. People are not looking happy. But we've got stacks and stacks of food. What are you? You're a colonist ship. And you have brought in... That person there. I'm, try I'm trying to catch them. Let's, let's watch them. Where are they going? He's a worker. That worker has come straight in and he's gotten straight to work. I like that. I like that sort of... That, that attitude that he's got. That attitude of just, right, I'm here now. Let's get straight to work. I don't want to I don't want to be stopping. I don't want to be messing around. I just want to get straight to work and get on with it. Because, you know, we've got the very important task of uh, maintaining the colony. Now, where's he going? Oh, he's bringing it in for that. Yeah, we got, of course, some of these machines in here require iron. Um, actually, quite a lot of them require iron. I, I didn't think that through, did I? Uh, did I have... Oh, yeah, okay. Our lab is now ready, plus the connections as well. I'll let them build that connection there before anybody comes out, because otherwise bad things might happen to them. And I don't want bad things to happen to them. I, I kind of want to keep our engineers and everybody alive. Right, we'll do that. You come out, and then if I do this and do the connection, then I can go into the lab in here and I can start... Right, we got a tissue synthesizer. I'm going to build one of those. Only one, because that, I think, it was one of the issues that we had previously with our... Um, what he calls, with the... Um, the biologists, they were spread too thin. So we biologists are now straight up through this aisle here. There is nowhere else for the biologists to go. Well, they need to go. We've got one canteen there. We've got another canteen there. And we've got a line of biologists up through here. So it should be relatively simple for them to keep everything running. Um, one thing I am going to do is that one there. And that one... No, not you. That one there. Once these two have reached uh, full production, I'm going to get rid of them. And I'm going to move the medical ones down. No, actually, no, I'm not. There's no actual reason to do that because the medicinal plants go to this one before they go down to that lab. So it's not going to make any difference. There we go. Medicinal plant is done. That one there is waiting. And that one is built. Okay, so now they can come along. Oh, they need plastic as well. So they'll do plastic and they will do that. And then they'll be able to come in. So he's, he's, oh, he's bringing in plastic to that. There we go. Medical supplies. And we've got engineer building. And so we got that one. I need one plastic to go in there. And then once we've got a bioplastic in there, they'll be able to make the medical supplies. So where are you with the bioplastic? Are you going to come in there? Or, oh, no. We've got a whole load of stuff up here that needs to be done first. Um, so really, we're waiting on the workers. See, they're bringing the medicinal plants over here. 
We've got two lots of medicinal plants, but I have yet to receive the plastic. Where is it? If one of yous could bring me some plastic. Oh, we got some plastic being made over here. 20%. 40%. It's on its way. I want to see one of these plants being made. It's exciting stuff. Exciting times we live in. Now, I've got, uh, yeah, i got people running around that are rather ill. Um, he's got uh, broken bones, trauma injuries, uh, run out of medical supplies. See, it's, it's all bad stuff. It's all bad news around here, isn't it? It's, it's nothing but a complete unmitigated disaster at all times. Right. Uh, no, wrong way. He was supposed to go there. It was the wrong way. He did not go the right way with the plastic. Okay, where's uh, where's the next? No, the plastic's coming up here. They're building all of these first. I suppose it's only fair that they prioritise all of that. But seriously, we could we could do with some over here. There's the vitro meat, the tissue synthesizer. I was busy making a load of um, a load more food. Um, so I've got plenty of food and starch. There's some plastic. Nope, he's going back down here. The, it, it, they're prioritizing all of these. It, it does make sense that they would prioritize those. I just really wish they wouldn't for a moment. Where are you? There's the next ones. we got people that have gone off. It, look, see, all of these are full of starch. Every single one of them is full of starch. I think I need to build another um, factory place. If I do that, maybe that will take us forward a bit for, a, a, a bit for, a bit more. We, we could very well end up... Because i got a lot of people now with trauma injuries. i got three or four people with trauma injuries running around. Um, which is really not a good thing. Uh, there's a piece of plastic on there. And there's a robot carrying a piece of plastic. Oh, he's gone through into this one. Yeah, they, they're going to keep carrying the plastic into there. Drinking fountain has been built. We've still run out of medical... If I could get a trading ship, I could trade some medical supplies. I got medicinal plants. Can he not just chew on some medicinal plants? That's, that would surely help. We could do with another bunk room soon as well. Um, I mean, I could delete this bunk room and just build a bigger one out here. But I don't know if I've actually got enough room in that area there to do it. Right, what are you? Colonist ship. We're up to 35 people. I think, though... You know, we're up to 35 people. I think we are actually doing okay with this. I think we're going to be... I, th I think it's going to work out nicely for us. Uh, the exercise bars have been built. I'm keeping an eye here. This is the plastics that we're, we're watching. I've got, um, I've still got like five or six items there to be built. That's going to use, that's going to prioritize all our plastic. But maybe I could, oh, what can you, oh no, you can only turn it off. I was wondering about prioritize. You can you prioritize there? Prioritize work in this structure. I don't really want to do that. I mean, I've got people that have trauma injuries, but I don't think it's, like, going to be the e complete end of the world. There's a piece of plastic coming in there, and there's a piece of plastic coming in there. I think that's it. He's built. That's pending one piece of plastic. Yeah, just one more to go. And then, we'll be able to put some plastic in for these. Look, look, look at that. Is it? Oh, no. Wrong way. There we go. And there's another one there. So there's a piece of plastic. We got one bit ready. Um, that one is on its way up. He's going to go through down to the exercise yard. Uh, but I'm hoping that someone will come along here very soon and they'll take one of these bits of plastic. There we go. There's a piece. And they will take that bit of plastic over here. No! No! I didn't expect it to go that way. Yeah, he's, he's waiting for one over there. Okay, next one. <laughs> the next piece of plastic is going to go to one of these tables. I want to see our medics come to work. Look at this. Look. Nothing there. There's nothing there. Can someone please come to work? Yeah, I just I just want the medics to get the plastic that they need to make. Why are you putting plastic into people? I'm, I am curious about this. Right, there's a piece of plastic in that one there. Nope. Has anyone been over yet? No, no, no. And and the plastics, are, they're, they're taking them outside. You're a trading ship. Maybe you have some. I, I've got some of I got some of those. I, I got, uh, let's take those two. Um, I got one piece of plastic there. I got lots of starch. Food is actually dropping. This is something that we do need to, we'll have to be careful. We need to keep an eye on this. Right, let's, um, let's do that. Coin, one, two there trade right 
Um, yeah, the food level is... There he is! Look! I didn't need to go and buy it after all. I got, I'm got. i making two of my own. I, I shouldn't have wasted my resources. So I got two medics. Medics should be on their way. Right, who are you? Oh, you're a guard. You're just sort of wandering around not doing a great deal. Uh, now, where's the medics? And any, any medics? I, I don't mind if you come to work. Actually do something. There we go. Right. They are working. Now, medical supplies are going to be left very shortly. And then we'll have medicine over there. Uh, these guys, are oh, they're busy bringing all the stuff out. Pending research. It takes a little while for them to sort of process through and get out all of the different things. I am wondering if I should put a second airlock out there. So, we have done really well, I think. We've, we've, we've finally made the progress that we needed to make. Food is now being eaten into, though. I'm aware of the fact that food is starting to be consumed. Robots facility, robotics facility. This is the bit that is really going to change. Right, a bot workshop. Engineer can build bots. Uh, bot auto repair. So I can build, I'm going to build a bot auto repair. I'm just going to do one of those at the moment. And I'm going to do two bot workshops here. One, two. Um, we'll build more later if we need to. But if we've got an auto repair... And, and we've got those two. We, we can increase the numbers that we have later on. That's not going to be an issue. Now, why have I got those two over there? Why are those two sat there not doing anything? Did I have a breakdown? Maybe I did. I'm going to recycle that. Yep. They'll come and they will get this plastic. They will move it and they'll do whatever they need to do. And then I can put that um, joiner back again. Um... That won't be an issue. That's, that's not going to be a problem in the slightest. We've still got food and starch lying around. So once I've built these, the next thing I want to do is a big factory. We, I, I think now we've actually been, we can say that we've sort of done this successfully. We, we've actually made some decent progress this time and it, it's been much more of a success. Could probably do with buying a gun. 124, I don't have enough. We won't worry about that. I've been told, though, that it's a starport that causes the issue with the guns. Um, that Well, when you need guns. If I put that there, I've got a piece of plastic. They should just come along, pick it up, and drop it back down again. And then we haven't wasted any resources in there. I'm going to leave the people running around. Just because I'm nice like that. Bot workshop has been built. The CR3 was irretrievably uh, damaged. That was by the storm. These guys out here, they're working hard in the storm, but they're also taking a bit of um, taking a bit of a pounding. A bit of a beating going on there. Right, now, what does this need? They need uh, semiconductors, bioplastic, and one metal. So they need one of each. A semiconductor, a bioplastic, and a metal. And I've got over here, that makes semiconductors, so it's one of each of those. So making the bots is a bit of a slow process, but it will happen. And then we've got arms over here. We're waiting on semiconductors as well, and then repairs. Uh, right, okay. I, I kind of need to increase production. It all needs to be about increasing production now. I've still got some food, but food supplies are starting to drop. We've run out of medical supplies. Uh, yeah, we probably have, but... Look over here, that one's at 30%. That one's just made a medical supply, so... Have I got one? Oh, I haven't got one left. I'm busy making medical supplies and I'm growing stuff, so we're doing okay with that, I, thi I think. I think I think we're going to be all right with that. Um, I've got a vitro meat thing here. Now, looking at these, i got enough biologists that are keeping all of these running, and they're all, ha they're all in good condition, which means that we've got enough biologists to keep going. So I'm going to go onto there, and I'm going to make another tissue synthesizer. I'm going to put that one there. Uh, you right here. So what's the difference between these? That's beef, that's pork, and that's chicken. Does it make any difference which one we're making? I'm going to go to you a minute, and I'm going to turn you into beef. I don't know that it makes any vast difference. We'll see. Um, I think these just work automatically. And then you get food from them. Let's build another one. Let's go to you, and can I fit another one in there? I can't fit another one there. No, uh, I can put one there. We've got one tissue synthesizer there. I'll leave that one in there, and then there we go. I'm out of there, right? Ideal. Um, I'll leave that one there, and then once that one's built, yep, there's the plastic. 
So I'm mostly I've got the I have I've got the plastic for everything now I'm waiting on that one over there that one is actually waiting on two semiconductors to finish that one which means that we want to be making semiconductors so they should start bringing some iron over for the semiconductors soon not quite sure when they're going to and you there I want you to make pork rather than chickens so we've got one of each type of meat being made I've got oh we've got trading ship let me go to you and you've got some iron there which would be good have I got anything else that I want to trade? I got, I got, lo I got plenty of starch. I could trade some starch. Let's trade three iron and what about a bot? There's a carrier bot there. It's 175. If I do this, this is an awful lot of starch. I could do one plastic, I suppose. Do two. Oh, there's only so many items that I can trade, can't I? Yeah. See, that's 165. Let's see if I do all of that. So if I go one, two, three, four, I'll do... Medicinal plants are worth ten. Do it like that. I just do it. I can just do it. If I do it like that, trade. Right, that is an awful lot of stuff to trade. In order to make this a little bit easier, I'm wondering if perhaps if I do this look. If I go there and uh, O2 consumption exceeds production, that's just great. O2, no, not, not you yet. Um, I want to go to the airlock and I want to put another one of these out here if I go like that where should I, I'm gonna do that off the storage room actually I'll come out there and then it's it's close close enough to that one that it will be useful so we do that um, but O2 is causing us a bit of an issue I didn't realize that I had that many people here oxygen consumption exceeds production how is it I've got two production facilities here for oxygen well, if that's, if that's what we need, that's what we need. So I'm going to have to build another one. I've got somebody over there who's hungry, but they, they shouldn't be. There shouldn't be any problems with food. Food should be okay. So yeah, that one is full of meals there. Loads and loads of meals. That one's got loads of meals in it as well. And what are you doing down here? you got meals and you got meals. Right. So the meals, I think we're okay for meals. I do think that we're doing all right with that. We can get this one here built, and that will make life a little bit easier. And then I want oxygen production. So, yeah, we'll go, we'll go and do that next. Make another oxygen generator. I, I, you can make a bigger oxygen generator, which is not something I've had up until now. Um, I can't put one in there. No, we'll, we'll bring this one over here, and I'll drop that one down there. And that one can come off of that facility there like that. And then we'll worry about... Actually, no, we can put in this connection as well. Because there's nothing in the middle that's going to get lost. And we've got that one there. So it does prioritize these exits here. That's excellent. Right, that's brilliant. So now we've got two airlocks coming in and out of this point. Which is going to make life a little bit easier for everything else. So we got this one over here. I still want iron to come in here. Which means that we need more ore. Now, ores at the moment, we don't have a great deal of. It's quite slow producing the ores. And I mean, our numbers are because our numbers are increasing. We are starting to like everything is starting to be run continuously, which is excellent. The biologists are working hard. I got a nice high percentage biologist, which means that food is absolutely caning it through. Power production over here. That one is about half full, and then we come into daytime, and it will start filling back up again. Well, that one fills up first, but yeah, you get the idea. That's all good. Um, okay. We, oh, one oxygen. That one's actually prioritizing. That's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing that they're prioritizing that. There's 44. We've run out of spares. We need more spares. All right, they're busy making spares over there. Got everything in there. It needs an engineer to run that one. Do I need more engineers now? Am I running low on engineers? That, that might be an issue. Um, specializations, engineers. I've got no, uh, nine engineers around. That should be enough. Because there's those machines there that take engineers. These machines take workers. All of those take workers. Uh, there's nothing else that takes engineers to run. That just runs automatically. So no, I don't actually need more engineers at the moment. I've got an O2 production facility there. And there. This one is filling right up. Just check on the water. No, that's okay. Oh. Uh... How much is that going to um, suck out of there? Is that continuous or is that um, going to slow down? I think it's water grid consumes 10 and produces 9.2. 
So why is the nine point, why is, yeah, why is that so low? Oh, I get it. It's because of the, yeah, 5.4. I, I don't know if that's like different rates or what. So what about you? Oh, no, that's a total grid. 3.9 out of 5 on there. And then this one is 6 out of 7. Um, I guess it's all dragging in a little bit of water. So I do need, as a fair price, because this is emptying out pretty quick. Um, I need another water production thing. I'm going to do that one. I'm going to do all the way out over here. I can do another one of these all the way out this side. We're going to have to go soon. Um, but I, I'm quite pleased that I did go and do this again. I'm quite pleased that I, did, I was able to come back and do some more. Because it means that we were able to actually sort of bring this one all the way up to something a bit more satisfactory. We didn't end on a complete failure. Um, we, had a bit, we had a bit more of a, a positive final note, which, which is really good. I am, I'm very pleased that we did this. Right, so we've got a bot workshop there. Constructor bot requires tech. Driller bot requires tech. And then we've just got plain caribou. So I need to get the tech. I need to buy the blueprints in order to be able to unlock the other ones. Uh, which I don't yet have. I also need these guys over here to start producing semiconductors. And they haven't yet. Right, what are you? You're a trading ship. Um, maybe you have the blueprint that I want. No, you don't. You've got... You do have medical supplies. Hmm. Uh... Nope, nope, not interested. Bye bye. Uh, now, we've got. Oh, we've got medical supplies now. We've got enough medical supplies to keep us going. And the storage has been built. Hopefully, someone will come around and build that one there. This one is filling up. Once you get a new area, I'm guessing that does suck back a little bit of the water because the O2 has got to be produced and sort of leveled between the two. Let that go up. There we go. That one's now connected and all joined up. That's really good. And then we're going to start pouring stuff in here. All this starch. Look at that. They're going to start dumping it all in here. And then that's going all the way through. There we go. Now things are looking up. Things are looking a lot more positive now. We need spares to be built. We've got some spares. We don't have a lot. We need some spares to be built. This needs to be built up here. I've got one there. I'm waiting on one piece of iron up there to finish doing that. And... It's on its way. There it is. There's a person who's carrying that piece of iron. They're going to go running all the way up through. He's not very happy, but that's because he's having to carry stuff around. And um, the humans around here are rather... Uh, uh, yeah, they're they're, um, they're not very good at this sort of thing. Um, no, I don't want to do that. Just want you to bring that one up there. Water extractor. Excellent. Build that one. Build that one as well. And water extraction is back online. We saved it just in the nick of time. That was cutting it pretty fine, but I'm glad we did. I'm glad we managed to do that. We've got that all back online. That's going up. Now, what about power, though? How are we doing with that? It's um, producing 33, 48, 57. All right, it takes a while, but the wind, with the wind going up, the wind does make a bit of a difference. It sort of moves up and down quite a bit. So, um, yeah, it, it does make a difference. We're okay at the moment as far as wind is concerned. So we look back through here. Everything is now built. Everything that I asked to be built has now been built. And so we're now hopefully going to have a few extra bits made. Now we want um, in here, we want... Wow, that one's just about full. Yeah, I'm hoping that we'll have some of these... Uh, not the spares. Uh, arms, I've got a... Well, it's waiting on a... I want some semiconductors built now. That's what we need. We need the engineers, we need them to bring in some iron, put it in there so that we can build a semiconductor. And once we've got semiconductors, it means that we can start building our robots. And the robots, they'll be able to be auto-repaired and a few other bits and pieces as well. What are you? Are you a trading ship? Yes. Right, we've got a... Ooh, a driller bot pattern. Those are the ones that goes to work in the mines. We've got a driller bot, and we've got another one there. The pattern is 200. Some spares. Uh, there's a semiconductor there, right. You know, I think we could get one of those. And I've got... I do have some plastic. So we can we can pay for most of this with bioplastics. Um, I can also trade in some of the medical supplies as well. So that we don't go over our 60 items. 280 and 280. There we go. Trade. Right. So we've got a patent for our um, bot. Now people are going to come out through both of those. And that means that I can set one of these building... No, no, no. I only bought a driller bot. Didn't I? I didn't buy the patent. 
I can't remember. I think I just bought a driller bot. I didn't actually buy the pattern. So, no, I can't actually start making them. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I have run out of time. I'm absolutely thrilled that I was able to sort of get things back on track. I think we've done well this time. We've got our canteen is going really strongly. We've got a good supply of food coming in. It looks like at the moment that food, we're staying well on top of the food situation. We've got mountains of plastic able to be made now. We've got a driller bot. Oh, driller bot pattern. No, it was a pattern that I bought. Brilliant. Right, so I can change one of those over to um, the driller bot. And then we've got that one there is making the carrier bots. Uh, I still need semiconductors. And I got someone making semiconductors. That is even better. So if he's making a semiconductor, we've got that one over there. Is busy making. I'm going to need three driller bots, I should think, at the moment. Except that... The next thing that I'd want to do is I'd want to build a um, another mine over here. But I'm not going to do that today. I will quite likely come back. to I, I, see, I don't know when I'm going to come back. I said last time that it was the final episode. And then the following day, I've gone and produced another one. Um, so you never know what's going to happen. Don't sort of hold your breath or anything. Uh, anything, literally anything could happen on this channel. You never quite know. Um, so, yeah, I'd, I'd just like to keep you on your toes. If you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. Tomorrow, I will be playing Survive Mars so long as the game is out in time and I can get the video recorded. Um, it may be a little bit late tomorrow evening, but I really, I'm, I'm hoping, unless it's going to be something stupid late, um, I will hopefully have an episode out tomorrow ready for you to enjoy so we can start taking a look at that game, which is apparently like this one, but far, far more complex. And I've struggled enough with this one, so it, it should, should prove to be interesting, to say the least. Um, but that's all i got time for, so until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.